Alright, I don't want to waste uh, too much of your time. The uh, Nidus build is uh, mainly focused around strength and duration for your Warcry and your ultimate. I will be swapping out uh, your tentacle ability with Warcry. Simply for the extra armor and speed increase that gives you an melee and character. It's amazing. And we got a steel charge for that extra melee damage. We're not going to be using any primary or companion uh, on the side. This is primarily focused on the melee damage. With uh, secondary being the cherry on top of the cake. Uh, prime sure fitted, it's going to give you a lot of survivability in, uh, in bad situations. Uh, adaptation, you could change it with a rolling guard if you fits your playstyle more, but rolling guard fits more uh, squishy, squishy uh, warframes uh, rather than uh, tanks. This one gives you 90% damage reduction, and your link gives you 90% damage re reduction, which uh, both together is you can do the math is less than 1% damage taken. Which is insane. We're going to be running all three uh, Umbral, five, um, Umbral mods. Uh, you can swap one of them out if you don't have an Umbral 4 mod, or you can risk, uh, you know, playing without the uh, shield footed mod. Eternal War for your uh, Warcry. It's going to give you three seconds on your uh, Warcry per kill. It uh, scales with your duration, so uh, therefore we are running continuity and streamline. Lastly, Gla Gladiator for the uh, crit chance, we'll get into that later. Uh, streamline, you could run flow, but uh, I prefer streamline, and I'll get back to that in a moment uh, with uh, some other tips. Moving on to the uh, secondary, you do not seek anything other than status, status chance, and more bullets out per, per minute. So, multi shot fire rate and status is going to be your best friend on this weapon. I'm running a Kuvanico with gold, radiation and corrosive. Corrosive for the uh, ferrite armor, radiation for the alloy armor, alloy and then cold lastly just to you know make the enemies a little bit slower, more uh, survivable I guess. Um, moving on to the melee uh, we are running condition overload with whipping wounds for that extra uh, status and damage per status and that is why we're running the new car with full status. More status affecting the enemy means more damage. Uh, Gladiator Might with uh, Gladiator Vice and Belt Rush for that extra crit chance. Uh, I believe there's like a scale that tells you how much crit chance you need to hit the times 12. So in this case, this is 30% times 11, because the first multiplier never counts as one by one is one. So you're going to multiply it by 11, 30 by 11, and then you're going to take 60 and multiply it by 11 as well. And put that together with this, and you'll get the crit chance. And then this one as well, on top of it as well, uh, 165 uh, tops. Like more crit chance again the ribbon really depends what you're looking for a crit chance ribbon with any uh, status chance or status uh, mods you're not looking for any damage ribbons damage ribbons are a scam since well damage multiplier takes the raw damage and multiplies it by a percentage it doesn't take the final damage it takes the raw damage same goes with the uh, health mods it takes Nidus's health at uh, rank 1 and multiplies it. For instance, if I was to uh, check Nidus, uh, 100, 150 health times 7.7 .7, uh, is what this is doing. It's not looking at uh, Nidus level 30. It looks at the raw health. The same with uh, damage mods. And uh, yeah, healing return for the extra healing. If you want, you could go Prime Breach instead of uh, healing return for that for that extra uh, uh, range on your melee weapon, which is nice, but uh, with Nidus you're gonna be on the faces, so it doesn't really matter. And you can see it's exactly the same uh, build. Um, Prime the Fever Strike, Toxin, I find Toxin being the best, but if you're running any Kana or something like that, you do not want this. You are gonna swap it out with the uh, 
slash mod and uh, yeah that's really it now let's uh, get uh, onto the the arcanes really quick I'm running arcane grace obviously for the health uh, per minute per second and then the second one you can actually go arcane guardian for that extra ammo but on higher levels right you're going to be fighting against infested and st stuff like that ammo only blocks damage on hit so it's like bullets and melee and that's kind of the reason why I prefer fury instead because it just gives you this extra uh, melee damage on crit and I don't have it maxed but once you you get it maxed it can it can give you a lot of damage for a long time and given this is a uh, crit build it's gonna be permanent basically now uh, let's test this bad boy out I'm not going to be testing out the uh, melee damage with your new car. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of, uh, a lot of guides out there with, uh, you know, that give you just that, you know, infinite uh, crit damage. But uh, I'll put I'll put a uh, picture on the screen right now, showing you how much damage this can actually do. And that was with my Ash build. If you're interested in that, let me know. I I would love to make an Ash build as well. What I'm going to be focusing on is uh, survivability and enemy level 130. These are corrupted heavy gunners, uh, which are going to be the ones you're going to be fighting the most on a daily basis uh, when you do relics and stuff. So I'll spawn them right now. I have zero stacks on my first ability, so let me let me get some stacks first. Alright, so I got myself 5 stacks, that is not a lot, I, I believe your first ability skills on your stacks, the more stacks you have the more damage it does, but we're not going to be focusing on that either. What I really want to show you is this, uh, really quick. Okay, I'm gonna leave one of them. And look at my health. And that is without your ultimate as well. Put down your ultimate, and that is gonna be 38 health per second. And with one sure footed, you are not gonna fall. Alright, so that was it. Uh, now the final tips I wanted to mention earlier is that, uh, well, these abilities scale on strength. So if you use your link on an ally, it's going to give you both 48% uh, strength uh, increase. And if you use your ultimate right after you use your link, then the healing is going to pop from 38 to 57 I believe or something like that and your war cry ability is also going to give you more uh, sp speed increase I believe it uh, tops up at 97-98% uh, something like that you can do the math same goes for your link the damage increase and damage reduction is also scaled on uh, strength but uh, it caps at 90 so you can see the damage reduction is already capped if I put more strength it is Oh, snap, that was the wrong one. There we go. It is still at 90, even though I have more strength. And, uh, yeah, it's it's insane. And, uh... It's an insane build. It, uh... It can, uh... It can survive a lot of, uh... A lot of crap. So that was it. Thank you so much for stopping by. And, uh, Stay safe out there and uh, have fun.